Hey guys, are you getting tired of changing out sock filters in your 2020 and newer Skidoo snowmobiles? I think we figured out what the problem is. Follow along, I'll show you. This sock filter is out of my uh, friend's 2022, I believe it is, or 2023 Skidoo Expedition Superwide. Anyways, uh, I know that he changed it out last year. Uh, I believe it's got maybe a thousand kilometers on it. And uh, here we are with uh, a plugged sock filter and uh, not real impressive, but I think we've got a solution. I've got my uh, handy little microscope with the recording screen on it and we'll, and we'll zoom in on the sock filter and see what we can see. I don't know how well the camera is going to focus on this, but you can see there's quite a bit of black fibrous material or black kind of fuzz built up on the uh, the outside of the sock filter and generally the color is kind of dark kind of a blackish color the uh, the filter would have been bright white when it went into the snow machine okay we're recording now and uh, you can see down into the uh, kind of the pleats in the filter. There's the dark material. I don't know if I can zoom in any tighter on that or not. We kind of tend to lose our light if we zoom in too far. That's the uh, the top of the uh, the surface. You can see it's just in this area here. And you can see that there is a bunch of Black almost looks like carbon deposits sitting on the uh, the surface, but uh, what I find is really telling. Let me see if I can get zoomed in on it here. We've got fibers. You can see the along the edge of the uh, of the filter there, and that's not part of the filter. because it wipes off. And if you look down in those pleats on this side, you can kind of see there's fibers. This is along the edge of the, uh, the filter. You can see the, uh, the edge there and along the, the side. And definitely I can see some, uh, some filters or some, uh, some fibers down in the filter material. Next thing we're going to look at is uh, some of the material that was stuck to the outside of the filter. Spread it out here a little bit and we'll shove it under the microscope. So looking at this it sure looks to me like we've got almost like a felt or a wool material. And uh, talking it over with the owner of the machine I think we've decided that that is coming from a fuel filter in the gas pump. This, uh, the, the tank of gas that was run through this machine uh, just prior to developing these uh, filter problems was, you know, brand new fresh grass uh, purchased from a, what is essentially the newest gas station in the district. It uh, only opened last summer. and. You know, you wouldn't think that there would be any uh, foreign material other than maybe coming out of a uh, gas pump filter. Doesn't that kind of look like filter material? So what's earth shattering about a sock filter getting plugged with foreign material? that is uh, coming in through the gas neck. Well, there's nothing really surprising about that. Obviously, what's plugging the filter has to be coming in through the fuel neck. What do we do about it? A couple of filter funnels that I have here. This is a big one, Get the dust out of it. I had, I purchased these for fueling my airplane. And uh, since I haven't flown in a year or so, uh, they're a little dusty. But the, uh, the idea behind here is the, uh, you fill up the funnel to the level of this green, and then the green is a uh, fine filter that uh, keeps foreign material. 
by having the, the a pool of fuel in the bottom, water is going to tend to sit in the bottom rather than coming in uh, to the uh, to the tank. So it helps separate water and it helps keep foreign material out of your fuel tank by running it through a fine mesh screen. This size is a little more appropriate for fueling a snow machine because you have to fit it in under the uh, the mountain strap on the top of the tank. So this will fit down and around the handlebar better than the larger funnel. Functions basically the same, it's just a little harder to see down in there. So I use the larger funnel. These are um, fuel fil fuel filter funnel by SmartTech or um, Mr. Funnel. And uh, I'll see if I can find an affiliate link from Amazon, and if I can, I'll put it in the video. Otherwise, uh, I'll see if I can find a non-affiliate link to share with you. Anyways, that's where we got to with this thing. I think that's uh, definitely coming from the gas station. Uh, you don't typically get fibrous stuff like that in your fuel tank. We'll see if we can get this end under. There's some more of that fiber matting built up on the, uh, the fuel sock. Symptoms of a plugged fuel sock are low power, basically bogging on my machine. It would get to the point where the machine would barely run, turn it off for 30 seconds to a minute, and it would fire up and would run fine again. Um, on this particular machine, the machine it had a general lack of power and uh, it was and eventually it got to the point where it would barely run with uh, less than half a fuel tank, fill the fuel tank all the way up to the top, and it had enough uh, head pressure to, uh, to overcome the plug fuel filter, and it would run fairly decent, but uh, absolutely completely different machine once the, uh, the sock filter was changed. This is a quick one for today. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Appreciate you taking time to watch. Hopefully you've found something useful here. And uh, it's definitely worth using a filter funnel to fuel your snow machine to prevent this from happening. It's a lot less difficult to uh, use a funnel than it is to change out a sock filter. If you got this far in the video, consider giving me a thumb up, giving me a like. And uh, if you want to see more content from Doug's Messy Garage, maybe consider subscribing. If you want to get notified when I post new content, you can uh, ring that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next mess.